think the more that, or my first response is, the more that we start loving our own bodies, and I believe doing that through the menstrual cycle and really honoring that in us and honoring then our, and being taught to honor our, that, that the cycle and then our sexuality through that, and, and exploring that ourselves first and, and understanding that. I mean, when I run the, the young girls programs, I tell them about the clitoris and, you know, it's this little button that's just there for pleasure, you know, and, you can, and I've checked out with the mums beforehand and I'm going to tell the girls about this. And they're all like, oh great, you're gonna, you know, I think I've only had one mum who said, oh, you know, so that's why I check it with them. But it's like, why not? Otherwise, where are the girls going to get it from? You know, it's like, but I don't elaborate. I'm just saying, go and explore your own body, you know, before anybody else touches it, you know, it's like. So, um, I think the more that we can give women permission, because it's also, we haven't been given permission, there's still like that double standard and that, that we're being brought up to fulfill men's pleasure rather than our own pleasure. So, yeah, and, and loving our own body, that they are, that they are fiercely intelligent system, the woman's body. Mm -hmm. And we, that's what, you know, we've been trying, all the, the women's mysteries teachers that I'm part of, we're trying to claw back that information that has been lost over the centuries of how can we access and really animate this amazing vehicle that we've been given and uh, and love it, no matter its size or, you know, it's it's, it has so much potential for us to really, and I talk to my body, what I've learned is to talk to my body like it's a little child, like acknowledging, it's like, oh, thank you legs for doing that, or, you know, <laughs> love my boobs, or, you know, just just love your body however it is, and talk to it and, and nurture it, and like when you're rubbing cream on your legs, you know, say thank you legs and send little kisses <laughs> to the your hips or the bits that you haven't liked, you know, just send it kisses and rather than, you know, oh, I hate this and I hate that. And I say to women when, when we, if they, we're starting to go into a conversation around hating different parts of our bodies, like, I don't want to bond with you over self-hatred of our bodies. Let's stop that. Mm -hmm. Let's really just stop that about what diets you're on and what, you know, it's like, just let's stop that and love our bodies as they are. Mm -hmm. and, and through that, then the pleasure that we can get from our bodies sexually and otherwise sensually, you know, with barbs and beauty and all of that, how can we really fan that up in ourselves and each other and give each other permission to do that. It's quite transgressive though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was meeting a friend and I was, I was trying to describe what I was wearing and I was like, I'm wearing grey top with little shorts, I look really hot. <laughs> and then like, just random people in front of me heard my conversation were like, <laughs>